Okay, what's up Pisces? This is Star. We're going to be doing a shorter reading for you today. I'm using the Transparent Tarot. It's the first time using it on camera. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. All right. I'm going to be um, just picking the cards from the middle of the deck because it's too awkward to shuffle these. So just to let you know. All right, let's start. Pisces. Six of Pentacles. There you are. Queen of Cups. Five of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Judgment. Ooh, okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so Judgment, Wheel of Fortune. I feel like um, there's karma at play here, which I've said in other videos. You're the last video I'm doing, but it, it's very much been a theme lately. I don't know what's going on, if it's because it's a uh, clip season. Um, there's just a lot going on this month, so... Page of Swords. All right, let's see. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, oh my goodness. Speaking of karma, we have Justice. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm getting here, you're putting somebody on the spot. <clears throat> you may feel like you have put in a lot of effort into a connection. This could be a marriage, or this could be family-related, or this could even be career-related, to be quite honest. You choose however this fits into your life. But... Um, Excuse me. <coughs> you feel like you've invested a lot. Um, and you ha have in turn received a lot of pushback, challenge, drama. So this person or these people or this situation no longer fools you like you're, you're you're not wearing those rose colored glasses anymore you see the truth you know the truth of the situation of the matter um there's no hiding from it the truth is on the table we all see it the elephant is in the room and you're acknowledging the elephant in the room and there's a conversation happening here yeah there's a conversation happening here where you are, you may be giving somebody an ultimatum and saying either you get your shit together <laughs> or you get out. And it may not be get out, but definitely uh, a very impactful change will occur. So you essentially might be the karma in this situation. Or you might be delivering the karma in this situation. All right, let's see what else. That's Leroy. I went to visit my mom. She has a cat. And um, her cat had like some, I don't know, her eye was like watery. So I don't know what, what she, she had like some kind of infection. And I didn't think it would be passed on to my dog, but he's been coughing now. So I don't know. Anyway. Six of swords. Yeah. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Ace of Swords. Magician. Something's going to change. You are creating change. You're making it happen. You're speaking your mind. You're not holding back anymore. It's like you are moving forward. You're making changes happen. You're making things happen with or without whoever this is or these people or, the, you know, whoever this is, either you get on board or you're going to be left back. That's, that's kind of the vibe that I'm picking up here. Yeah. Someone's going to have to make a decision. Oof. Three of swords. Oh, the fool. You're willing to lose them. That's that. If this is a marriage, if this is a commitment, you're willing to lose this person. Even if it hurts you, it will hurt you. I mean, Three of Swords is here. You know it's going to hurt you. But you don't care. Eight of Swords. You're putting somebody between a rock and a hard place. Six of Wands. But you know, even if it's going to hurt you today, you know that in the long run, it would be better for you. Okay, Six of Wands. It would be a victory for you in the long run. Four of Swords. You're doing a lot of thinking about this, or somebody is, you're, or maybe this other person is thinking a lot about this, about what's good for them. King of Wands could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. We have the Hierophant here, could be dealing with a Taurus. Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're forcing somebody to look at this relationship and take action as a result of this conversation. They're forced to take action. They're forced to do something about this. Either shape up or ship out. Four of Cups. Because you are... You're bored. Four of Wands. Yeah. The situation as it stands today is, is not up to par. It's not what you deserve. Like, you can deal with it, but you know that you deserve more. You know that there's better out there for you. Um, it's acceptable, Four of Wands. It's like, Four of Cups is like when you, kind of, you have what you need. You don't really need anything else, but you're not happy you're not satisfied you're not you just know that there there's got to be more all right so so yeah you have a home or you have this relationship but it doesn't fulfill you it doesn't really satisfy you it doesn't excite you there's no passion and so for that reason you're out you're just willing to you're willing to take the chance to just do away with them and start over. Knight of Wands. Yeah. Queen of Swords. Eight of Cups. I, I'm telling you, you kind of you see this person or the situation is beneath you. You know you can do better, and you're prepared to walk away if they don't meet you at your level. Page of Cups. Strength. Two of Pentacles. You know, I I feel like Page of Cups, Page of Cups is your energy, okay? With the strength card, I feel like the way that you're communicating this is actually very hmm, okay. 
it, it's it, it's you, you're communicating this in a in a sweet way, but okay. Think about how this person is handling this lion here. It, it, very carefully. It's dangerous. It can turn deadly. <laughs> But, you know, she kind of knows what she's doing. And that's kind of what I feel here. You know what you're doing. You know how to approach this person. Um, it's just up to them how they manage this, how they handle this, which way they're going to go. And you don't care. You know that. Three of Cups. Two of Wands. Yeah, yeah. Two of Cups. Let me see. Hangman. The Devil. Somebody here has like a fear of missing out. And this is what doesn't allow them. So whoever it is you're dealing with, they have trouble investing 100% or, or really being into someone or something 100% because they're always looking around to see if there's anything better, anyone better. And so it just doesn't allow them to be fully immersed. And it, it could just be a protective thing, you know, like a avoidant, like detachment type, you know, I don't know. But it, it's the devil, so... It's, it's like emotions or things that something that they're bound to they, they they have trouble fighting against this and they may not even realize it so they may realize it now <laughs> Because, <laughs> like I said, you're putting this person between a rock and a hard place. You're putting them on the spot. This is their moment. Are they going to let you walk away? Because you're going to let them walk away. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be okay if they do. I think if they do walk away, They are quite wrong if they think that you're going to chase after them. And when they realize that you're not going to chase after them, it's too late. They're going to be stuck. And they're going to be stuck with no choice but to face those demons, to face the, the reality that they sabotage their own connections. They sabotage their own life. They have to fight against themselves. So, yeah. They're in for a fight, you know, whichever way they go. They, they, are, they are in for a fight against themselves because they are the ones sabotaging this. So they either deal with it while still in the relationship with you or they let you slip between their fingers and deal with it all on their own. I guess we'll see. Let me know in the comments what happens. All right, Pisces. Love you guys. See you soon.